Thank you for watching. This is one of the last videos that I'm going to make about my Axial uh, Yeti Double XL. Uh, you may have followed this uh, this whole uh, build series type of thing, where I hacked up a chassis, put it together again with uh, the help of my uh, X Carve. Uh, tried to sort everything out, put in a double motor, double ESC, everything. Right now, uh, onto the cosmetics, but also some performance parts, uh, wheels and tires. I do not really like the stock wheels and tires that uh, come with the Yeti. Uh, granted, the tires are nice, they're licensed, they look okay. Um, the wheels also look okay. Putting them together, however, is a bitch. Um, you need a whole shitload of glue just to be able to seat the, the rim and the tire together properly. The bead is a tiny bit on the sloppy side. I will uh, make sure that you get a close up of one of the stock wheels and tires and you will see that there's a fair gap going on between the rim and the tire. So you really need to press it down in order for it to actually be seated. Now, um, I did do that with, uh, with my regular Yeti XL by uh, sort of strapping a bunch of uh, Velcro around it. I think uh, by doing that I only used half of the glue that I would have otherwise used but still I needed a whole lot of glue to actually get the thing seated. Another thing that I didn't really like were the, the foams that were included. They really allowed the tire to expand to a ridiculous rate and at some point with my regular Yeti XL I actually found tire marks on the back of my bodywork uh, which were in hindsight when I looked at some footage that I had shot. They were from the front tire ballooning to a ridiculous rate. Uh, really turning it into a fucking pizza cutter and uh, well regardless you know um, you can imagine that that also affects performance so I was not too happy about that fortunately however uh, let me turn the car around fortunately Pitbull has come out with a couple of tires the Rock Beast XL and they actually are made for the Yeti XL they are great. Uh, <laughs> I really like Pitbull tires. The sidewalls are a lot firmer. Uh, the tire itself also is a lot firmer. It's a bit more square. It appears to be a tiny bit wider than the stock tire, which is also good just given the fact that this is such a huge car. And the fitment, uh, that, that's the most important, the fitment on the rim. Uh, in this case, I use some different rims, but I'm getting into that as well. The fitment on the rim is a whole lot better than uh, the stock tire. Uh, these also come with uh, with foams, these tires. Uh, they're not closed cell foams or, or anything, but uh, in looking at some footage that people have been shooting with these Rock Beast XL tires, uh, they do expand a whole lot less. I, I would say not even half. It almost looks like you're looking at a closed cell foam. Uh, but it isn't. So this foam is a whole lot firmer than uh, the, the foam that you would find with uh, uh, the stock tires, the, the tires that come in the kit. So I think that this will be a really good upgrade for me just considering I'm running a double power setup and these tires are gonna get a whole lot of abuse. Um, when it comes to look, I'm still bad at muting my shit. <laughs> when it comes to scale looks, uh, Pitbull of course nailed it. There's a lot of detail going on in these uh, threads. They're sharp as hell when you just take them out of the package. Uh, and they just look really good. The script on the side of the tire, so the writing that you see on the sidewall of the tire, there's two different types of script which I find quite interesting. So you can sort of select what you think would look best on your car and just flip the tire accordingly. Do of course make sure that you got all the script uh, face outward in the right way before you start gluing the tire to the rim. Uh, if I have a discount code, I think I will, then uh, it will be in the description box of this video. Pitbull usually is really cool about uh, hooking me up with a discount code that I can give out to uh, you guys, my viewers. So that is uh, pretty awesome of them. Now, these rims, you will maybe you will not recognize them instantly because the centerpiece is currently missing. These are the Vanquish uh, rims that they make for the Yeti XL. I really, really like these. These are not beadlock rims or anything. Uh, they're plastic, but they are of one of the highest qualities of plastic that I've ever seen. They actually consist of, uh, of eight different pieces, so all these uh, tiny inserts that you see going around the side. They, you can actually take those out. There's a Phillips screw on the inside that you can take out. You will go to a close-up, of course, so you can have a closer look at it. Uh, there's a Phillips screw on the inside, so you can take off all those uh, inlays, whatever you want to call them. You can even customize them. I've seen people do some really cool stuff with them. I'm, however, going to keep mine black just to go uh, for a bit of a clean and a bit of a simple look. Um, there's some flat 
black going on or some shiny black going on. I'm really impressed with uh, the quality of these rims and with uh, the finish of them. When I took some pictures of them close up to, to post them on my Instagram, I didn't even need to have a filter uh, just to make them look awesome because I don't know, I'm just really chuffed with, uh, with the way they look. They're really three-dimensional, so there's a lot of openings going on and there's a lot going on when you just look at them. They may not be everybody's style, but um, I really like the look of them and I wanted to have something different on my Yeti XXL. So these absolutely fit the bill. Uh, the centerpiece, you can just sort of pry that one out so you can actually uh, undo or do up your, uh, your wheel nut. Do just tighten it really... Uh, really firmly as you would also do with your uh, with your stock wheels and tires just to make sure that you're not stripping out any hexes when it comes to fitment of the hex I would say that the Vanquish rim actually fits a whole lot tighter around the hex than uh, the axial rims do that may just be something that's in my head but uh, it, it feels a tiny bit firmer so uh, what I've left to do is this snug fit pitbull tire around this uh, Vanquish rim I need to glue all of that stuff up uh, while that is drying I'm uh, focusing on paint in the meantime so I don't think that I've been just uh, sitting around doing nothing so that is going to be the next video one more thing one more technical aspect that I want to uh, address uh, about the build before we head over to a painting video which is going to be the next video and also the last video before I beat this thing to snot is the rear axle the rear axle is really a weak point in the Yeti XL uh, stock you have that plastic rear axle with uh, um, basically no way of really retaining the, the diff bearings this axle is machined aluminium it does cost a fair bit it's 180 bucks but I would say uh, of all the upgrades that you can get for a Yeti XL, this one is the most value for money that you will ever get because we all know about those uh, diff gears and uh, bevel gears shearing and wearing out uh, at an excessive rate and that's just because of the flexibility of the plastic. Now this thing is machined to house your, uh, your stock diff. It comes with a bigger bearing on the inside of your bevel gear so it will actually um, be able to, to, to sort of uh, stand up to that abuse of the bevel gear and of all the impact that you're going to have on this rear axle a whole lot better than you would have with those really thin bearings that you get stock. So that's really well engineered. In addition, they have two bearing retainers on the inside that hold the diff in place. Now I'm still waiting for some upgraded gears. Axial have actually released some spiral cut gears. Uh, I'm not one to hand out parts numbers, but I've been passing this one around so many times right now that I know it from the top of my head. It's AX31339. Uh, those are the updated axial gears. You do not need to shim those. So that's also something that will help making this uh, a more durable car. Because people have been uh, having a lot of problems, including myself, uh, with just wearing out those, uh, those differential and those bevel gears. So, uh, long story short, Vanquish parts. Really chuffed with them, uh, especially with that rear axle that is going to make this car a whole lot more durable. Still waiting for those gears to come in before I can really wrap this up and call it uh, technically sound but um, uh, so far so good I chose to go with uh, that they come in a couple of different colors these axles I chose to go with the silver one so you actually see that it is an aluminium machined upgrade uh, they also have it in black but I just really wanted to stand out the quality of this piece is jaw-dropping it's almost a shame to take it out and to go bash it but uh, the Vanquish products, they always stand up to the abuse. It is no wonder that people are talking about these products a whole lot on, uh, on sites like uh, Facebook and on forums like, for example, the RC Crawler. Because it is, well, it's worth the money. It's a, it's a big investment, but uh, definitely worth it. So uh, go check that out. I will put links to the, all the products that you have seen in this video in the description box. So you can uh, go check them out. I will finish my last bit of uh, cut and peel work. So I can actually uh, start painting in the next video. As always, I've skipped a few steps ahead, the whole cutting process, because that is mind-bogglingly boring. And I cannot wait to completely finish this car up, uh, slam the body panels on it, and uh, call this project 
finished. You will see close-ups of, uh, of everything that I've shown, just to make sure that you know uh, what it looks like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the box below. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. If you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be ahead of what I'm doing over here, check out my Instagram and my Facebook. There's a whole lot of info in the description box. And uh, if you think that this uh, video will come in handy for your friends, for example, then uh, don't forget to share it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch you uh, the next time. Uh, paint, finally. So uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Back on.